Okay. Um, thank you very much for, uh, uh, please accept my uh, change that the order of my presentation because of that I have to rush to that the airport uh, after that. <laughs> and then to that I'm uh, um, not my nightmare cases and the previously to that the Professor Sano do that uh, six times to the redo population and then I fix that the seven times to that the uh, uh, operation as well. And the case of the difficult treatment of the traffic being anomaly under coarctation of the aorta. And the case presentation is 22 years old male now, and then uh, he had uh, the DOR with subpulmonary and the coarctation of the aorta. And the first operation is uh, Professor Sano do that uh, through the uh, left chest and uh, end to end anastomosis. And then um, that is a su successful to that the 995. Then the uh, second operation, uh, two months, and uh, completely repair to the arterial switch operation, J10 and uh, BSD closure. And side-by-side uh, -side relationship with the great arteries, like that uh, uh, Sheha 9 uh, appearance to that the coronary arteries. But uh, successful to that the baby is okay. But then uh, one month, one year, and uh, five months, 1996, Light ventricular outflow tract obstruction and also left P pulmonary stenosis and also uh, some uh, little bit a uh, pressure gradient between the ascending aorta to the descending aorta. That's a uh, uh, recoarctation of the aorta. Then to that uh, fix the uh, light ventricular outflow tract and also a big patch uh, on the uh, left pulmonary arteries. And then catheter uh, show to that uh, still left PA stenosis there. And also, uh, we cannot see to that the light ventricular outflow tract properly, but uh, pressure gradient 50 millimeter mercury. And, and uh, left PA stenosis, uh, um, pressure gradient 22 millimeter mercury. But uh, now is that uh, uh, probably nine years uh, before, so. Um, my our cardiology cannot do that uh, catheter. Must be a flank do that uh, same situation to the put in a stand or something. And then to that the first time on the operation is 17 years old and, and 20, uh, 2013. And the Lee RBOT and also uh, uh, second times to the left PA uh, big patches. But uh, still uh, that operation record is here. And uh, in that uh, situation, is a very bad uh, situation. And uh, through the ascending aorta, injure to the ascending aorta at that uh, period. So uh, ascending aorta uh, replaced to that uh, uh, artificial graft. And also to uh, left pulmonary arteries put in uh, some patch materials like that. Ascending aorta uh, replaced to the uh, uh, artificial uh, graft and also left PAs uh, put on a big patches. But uh, still uh, some uh, pressure gradient here. Probably end of that uh, patches uh, narrow segment is uh, still there. And also just uh, behind to the uh, pulmonary arteries and the big sinus of Balsalva of the ascending aorta. That a little bit, little bit uh, cause of the like uh, uh, Tausich being anomalies, uh, sinus valsalva is a bigger, bigger than year by year, and also uh, some stenotic area here. So ascending aorta is acceptable size. So uh, like that, like uh, kicking or something in here. And the fifth time operation, and uh, left PA is still uh, high pressure gradient and also supra aortic stenosis, probably uh, some uh, graft site in the nano segment is here. Yeah. And also, uh, uh, patient has a hemolytic anemia, and uh, some hemolytic and uh, total building is at four. So uh, at that time, uh, Shunji's do that uh, artificial graft interpose to the left pulmonary artery to the main pulmonary arteries and then open stent implantation uh, both of that upper and lower area in the pulmonary branches. Then uh, fifth time the CD and still some uh, pressure gradient to left pulmonary arteries and also uh, ascending aorta like the 
carb and kinking still there, and hemolytic anemia and still there. So a six time redo operation. So uh, ascending aorta, artificial graft is opened, and then a uh, little bit uh, this area cut off, and then uh, inside the lumen there's a very smoothly uh, check to that. Like that, uh, finish that the six time operation, uh, artificial graft through the main pulmonary artery to that the left PAs, and the hemashield patch on the ascending aorta. So summary to that the six time ablation and the first ablation is coarctation re repair through the left chest and the second ablation the arterial switch and a BSC closure and the third ablation is the left PA and also recoarctation RBOTS relief and also still uh, left pulmonary stenosis there and also a uh, main pulmonary artery push that the ascending aorta backwards that the main issue of the uh, left pulmonary artery is small. And then, uh, I just, uh, before the seventh time operation, and uh, cardiology do that, the cardiography, like that uh, big sinus of Valsalva, and also a kinking to the ascending aorta. Just a bit uh, front of that uh, ascending aorta, main pulmonary artery, and also closing to the left pulmonary arteries as well. So thinking about that, and also pulmonary arteries like that, and stent is open, stent is okay, but between the main pulmonary artery to the left pulmonary artery branches, still narrow segment is there. But uh, this area, still ascending aorta here. If that uh, put in a uh, stent or something, but push the ascending aorta, we cannot do that, cardiology said, cannot do that uh, stent inside here because of that just pushing to the ascending aorta. So uh, discussion is left PA, steel stenosis, and also spra aortic stenosis, and also patient has that ascending aorta, just a kinking hemolytic uh, phenomenon. How can we relieve that uh, seven stem ablation? So uh, I just imagine and also thinking about that, and uh, left pulmonary artery is completely taken out and also uh, ascending aorta I uh, put on uh, a big patch and also uh, make a little bit uh, smallish to uh, uh, sinus of Valsalva uh, between near the uh, aortic valves and also put on some graft uh, directly to right pulmonary, uh, right ventricle to directly to the left pulmonary arteries like that. So uh, some uh, artificial graft combined with that, uh, uh, with that uh, tri-leaflet valve. Uh, you know about that uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Yamagishi provided to uh, Gotex tri-leaflet sinus with the sinus of Valsalva and then put in a light ventricle to pulmonary artery shunt. And then after that, uh, uh, patient is okay, supra aortic stenosis, a little bit still there, but uh, pressure gradient on a cardiac catheterization, that is fine. So uh, that uh, discussion pointed, what uh, kind of the operation should be the initially? So uh, usually to the uh, tausic being a normal is a side-by-side -side arrangement. Um, usually the avoiding uh, Lucon maneuvers, but uh, this time to the uh, Shunji's selection to the Lukon maneuver. That reason why closing to that the left pulmonary artery is just front of the ascending aorta, that's a big issue. About, and also uh, uh, pulmonary artery and ascending aorta are big different of that uh, size at that uh, beginning. So uh, another one is that the repair of that uh, LPAs. So we do that uh, open uh, stent or something, but uh, just uh, push to the ascending aorta. Cardiology cannot do that, but I'm not sure to that the flank will do that, I'm not sure. But uh, uh, our cardiology, not so brave, so uh, <laughs> like that. So, uh, but uh, usually to the ascending aorta, originally Jaten and Luko maneuvers, but uh, this uh, anomaly is Tausich being usually to that um, no local maneuvers are original one is much better. 
I look up that uh, some articles there, and uh, primary artery switch operation a strategy for total collection of Chelsea he being anomalies. But uh, still, aortic Z score is uh, small, and uh, probably a sinus of Barsalva and a uh, big one. And also, uh, later it comes out after arterial switch operation for Chelsea he being anomalies. Aortic artery obstruction is sti still there, and also uh, uh, neo. Uh, native and ascending aorta diameter is uh, big. That's a problem about that. So thinking about that, uh, this initial operation, what to do? But uh, saves time operation, and the patient is now is at um, back to the normal life. Thank you very much for your attention.